Hello and welcome back to Volatility 411. I'm Kevin Davitt, part of SIBO's Options Institute, and it's Tuesday, June 15th. Now, the S&P 500 index continues to grind mostly higher around the 4250 level. Friday, the broad market closed at new highs, and yesterday we meandered and closed slightly lower. 90 minutes into today's session, the S&P 500 is lower by about nine handles. Now, 10-day S&P 500 realized volatility has been below 6% for a full week. Interestingly, implied volatility levels for the SPX options have been relatively firm. One month at the money, SPX options are trading on about a 12 implied vol. Now, in fairness, 30-day historical vol for the broad market is very near 12%. Despite the lack of meaningful intraday or close over close swings, SPX options volume have been quite strong for the past few sessions. There will be a quarterly expiration this Friday, which could provide some potential fireworks or could become a reason to just remain near this level. The VIX index is measuring right around 17. And in a somewhat related vein, SIBO SKU index has been measuring at an all time high. In brief, SKU is a measure of the relationship between out-of-the-money calls and out-of-the-money puts for a given market, and in this case, it's a measure of out-of-the-money calls and puts for the SPX index. It translates as there's clearly a demand for out-of-the-money puts that continue to trade at a significant vol premium to out-of-the-money calls. For whatever it's worth, looking back a few years, there have been local highs in the SKU index in September of 2018 and December of 2019. There was a meaningful sell-off in the broad market in late 2018. The SPX continued to climb in early 2020 until the COVID-19 sell-off. Now I'm in no way in intimating that the market should go down, but it's a relationship I'll continue to watch. That's Vol 411 for Tuesday. Thank you very much for tuning in.